My data shows a concerning disparity in how the black community in Michigan is being impacted by COVID-19. Just this week, in fact, the state started a task force to take a closer look at that issue. Our Aaron Persegian joins us live via Skype after speaking with the lieutenant governor who is heading up this task force. Aaron? Ryan, Annie, Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist and others we spoke to say there's an alarming health disparity, which also points to a larger issue. We have taken early action on this and are looking to take action immediately to address this disparity. We recognize that this is happening in cities all across the country that have uh, you know, large black populations. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist is the chair of the newly formed Coronavirus Task Force on Racial Disparities. Michigan is one of the first states to launch a task force like this, but the disproportionate impact spans nationwide. Going up uh, very strongly in our data on the African-American community, and we're doing everything in our power to address this challenge. It's a tremendous uh, challenge. It's terrible. 14 percent of Michigan's population is black, but they make up more than 40 percent of coronavirus deaths. The numbers don't lie. I mean, the truth is black people have died at a higher rate. This has impacted me personally. I, I, unfortunately, uh, 15 people in my life have passed away from coronavirus here in the city of Detroit, uh, and all but one of them have been black. The lieutenant governor says the new task force will be made up of community experts looking at how to combat the virus in black communities and finding the underlying issues that are leading to the disparity. It may be due to the fact that people are not consistently attached to the health care system, may not have health insurance or consistent access to a doctor. Our administration is not afraid to tackle the issue of racial inequity and injustice head on, and that's what we're doing with this task force, and that's why I'm gonna be working alongside these experts and leaders to be able to find solutions that work for people in Detroit, in Southeast Michigan, and across the entire state of Michigan to make sure that we all can be safe and that lives can be saved. Cooley Law School Associate Dean Tracy Brain believes the global pandemic is exposing deeply rooted issues for people of color. There's, there's been uh, disparities as long as, as you know, as, as far back as we can look. Um, you know, again, some of the objective factors that are leading to increased deaths among African Americans include uh, uh, the prevalence of underlying conditions, um, a disparity in access to health care, uh, a disparity in resources in general, like living in impoverished uh, areas actually get into a place where we can talk about the legacy uh, that, that has led to the state of affairs in the black community, I think would be a wonderful, wonderful place to start because so many people don't want to talk about it for a lot of reasons. Um, so like I said, maybe some real conversations, some real research followed up by some action kind of based on those outcomes. And then like you said, in the meantime, on the ground, you know, just trying to get that word out there, checking in on one another. And the task force will be made up of more than a dozen people. Their first meeting is tomorrow. Live in Grand Rapids, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.